Hey, I'm with Chachi Bonilla. Chachi's the coach of the uh, Cal Knights Travel Ball team here in Mission Viejo, California. And today he's going to talk about infielding. And here he goes. As an infielder, the most important thing about being an infielder is to stay low. Okay? And when I say low, I cannot emphasize that word enough. In the infield, we've got to be low all the time. Low, low, low. Why do I say that so much? Because it starts from the very beginning. When you guys are getting prepared, you know, in your ready position, you want to be low. You want to move to the ball low. All right? You want to get as low as you possibly can to come underneath the ball when you feel through it. And even when you transfer and move towards your target, you want to continue to stay low. At no time do you ever want to bring your body up. You don't want to have your chest come up. You don't want your legs to straighten out, okay? Because then what happens is your arm and your body, they get off sync. All right, we want to stay low at all times. Everyone got that? Okay, awesome. All right. So, first thing we'll talk about, all right? Pre-pitch. You guys come on over here. Alright, so that pitcher, you know, he's looking for signs. You guys can be chilling, doing whatever, whatever it is you do. Alright, and then when he comes set, he lifts that leg and he's getting ready to throw to the plate. When that ball enters the hitting zone, okay, you guys want to be in a very good position to move, not only low, but to move quick laterally, to either side equally. Okay, so usually the best thing to do, alright, is when that, when that pitcher's throwing it, it comes into the hitting zone, is you want to have a little forward momentum with your feet, but it's kind of like a little hop, because you want both your feet to land on the balls of your feet simultaneously as the pitch is coming into the hitting zone. So it's going to kind of look like this. See that? All right. Some people walk into it. All right, but what happens when you walk into it is that there's a lot of times that your body won't, on your lower half won't be equally distributed, the weight. Okay, so which means that one of the sides is going to be not as quick. It's going to suffer your first step reaction. All right, so the best thing to do, like I said before, pitch coming in. All right, you're just going to have a little forward momentum on the balls of your feet, landing right at the same time. So now you're ready to move laterally either either way. Try to stay as low as you can. Okay, chest a little bit over your knees, just a tad. Does that make sense, everybody? Okay, let's see it. Let's see it. Everyone, go ahead.